Hello, and welcome to a mini episode of The Other Side of Sales. I'm Ashley Early, and today I am joined by one of our new co-hosts, Francisco Oler Garcia. Francisco, thank you so much for joining us. Such a pleasure coming down. Coming, am I coming down? No, I'm just here in Tampa, Florida. I don't know if that's down, up, left, right, but here I am. Direction is meaningless. Who knows? Yeah. You're, you're, you're yeah. there. You're where you're supposed to be or whatever it is. I, I love you called it Florida. <laughs> you know, it's, it's the millennial in me of wanting to go against the tide and also I, add some flavor to it. Like I'm from Puerto Rico, like everything needs some spice in it, truly. I thought you were just trying to distinguish yourself from Florida, man. So I don't live in Florida with Florida, man. I live in Florida where we have spice. Correct, <laughs> exactly, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. All right, so brilliant. So point of space was just to help everyone get to know you a little bit. So let's start off with, why don't you tell everyone a little bit about kind of your sales journey? Tell us a little bit about your story for those who don't know you. Absolutely. So for those of you who can't see more so in our virtual world, or if you're hitting me, hitting me, hearing me, you're not hitting me, hearing me from an audio context, I am in a wheelchair. I was born with a physical disability, but all that means is that Wherever I go, I'm always on a roll. Hey. Um, puns and... Um, but, um, we'll add the sound effect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and in terms of my sales journey, it's been quite a quite a ride, right? Like I graduated with my MBA from the University of Tampa in 2018. And after that, I worked for two smaller companies, both under 15 employees. One was a startup startup, and then the other one was a company in a totally different industry. And before my current role that I am now at Drift, I was a marketer. And being a marketer for a small company, you quickly realize that you wear many hats. And one of the most important ones is business development. And what I've learned in that journey is what matters most to people is that they can see your passions, your values, and your interest. And one of the methods that I have done that is through LinkedIn and just doing what I call gratitude Sunday. So every Sunday I post a meaningful message about my life or a lesson that I've learned or something that just really stuck out to me on this week. And what I and what that has done is that it has transform my life in such a way where like reflection and meditation is like something I do subconsciously, but even more, it's made me become a strategic partner and a trusted resource to everybody that I meet. Now I find myself as a customer advocate. So I train and educate people on how to use the Drift platform, but something that stands out to me and something that the founder of Drift, David Cancel says is, Everybody is in sales. No matter what you do, everybody is in sales. And that has yep. stuck with me every step of my way, right? Even though I work in more of a post-sales role, it is in the support and the onboarding and the different ways that I interact with customers that make them want to continue to be loyal to us, but also in seeing the power of drift and what it can do it can also encourage them to want to you know change their subscription or do something bigger so that's been my journey my journey has been of learning how what connects people to us is showing who we are what we value and what we care for when people know that when they have a problem you will be there to answer your call that's something that is almost truly unbeatable hundred percent. And I feel like that kind of taps in here because you and I met, actually, you're one of my new 2020 besties. <laughs> so we connected last year through Casey mm -hmm. um, while you were trying to figure out those kind of next steps um, in your career. And kind of, I'm curious because when I approached you with the invitation to join other side of sales. Obviously we, I wanted to make sure we tap into your infectious energy. Um, as you guys get to know Francisco, you'll understand he is one of those personalities that is so insanely positive that you really kind of want to throttle him, but you can't cause he's so freaking nice. Like <laughs> you want to get mad, but you can't, you're just kind of jealous that he's just always delightful. Um, and 
even in some crazy situations, which we've all gotten into at some point, you've had a few doozies in the past year, Mm -hmm. but especially with the perspective of being someone with a physical limitation. Mm -hmm. Um, And we'll talk a lot about that over the courses, but really want to get your perspective, but it kind of leans into this next question. You know, when was a time that you felt like you were an other in sales and what impact has that had on you? So in a pre-COVID world, right, um, I remember going to conferences and one of the things people would see me rolling up in my swanky carbon fiber wheelchair and I knew everybody was jealous, right? Like I got a chair wherever I go, don't need to compete with anybody and a perpetual winner of musical chair. So you guys um, see what I mean with this, with this terminal, like delightfulness, it's, it's, it would be, it would be so cheesy if it wasn't awesome. Sorry, continue. (laughs) And, you know, one of the things that I would say is I would be like, I would say like, you know, the toughest part of coming here was all those stairs I had to go through. Like, I think I got a a leg workout out of this and the person would just be like, like I would see this bewildered look of they're like, they wouldn't know how to react. They'd be like, did I just hear what I just hear? And did he just address the elephant in a room in such a way where like, I don't feel weird in asking him about it. So that's kind of one of the ways that, yes, I've always in a way felt like an other, but I think in being vulnerable and being honest and in breaking down those barriers, that has connected me much more deeper than a lot of people. And I think that's important is leaning into your strengths. And one of my strengths, as we pointed out, is me being very open, honest, and very like kind and upbeat and energetic. But the way that I project that is I project it in such a way that I want to connect deeper with you, right? And now in a post-pandemic world, when I'm in Zoom, I don't need to tell anybody that I'm in a wheelchair because all they can see is from here down. But that's that's not who I am. That's not what makes me me, right? That's what, in a way, it's like in owning my identity, I'm still an other, but I'm an other that's encouraging others to feel accepted, to feel valued, to feel elevated. And that's what I want to do every single day. And that's what makes my life meaningful because we're all others in some way, shape, or form. What matters is what we do to create a better world. And it can be the smallest of action that can have the biggest of impacts. All right, now that I'm ready to go out and change the world, what is is a thing that you are most proud of in your sales career? The thing I'm most proud of and because it happened recently, was making it to my dream company, which was Drift. And, you know, realizing that in so many ways, you know, I'm a Latino with a physical disability who broke into a SaaS space, coming from not having a lot of SaaS experience or B2B experience or, and what and why that was meaningful was because how I got here was leaning into my strengths was, you know, reaching out to mentors, creating internal champions at Drift and wanting to always go above and beyond. And that, and that's, and it is my proudest achievement because now that I'm here, I'm helping others get to their dream jobs or change their careers or mentor them, right? It's not, the way I think about accomplishments is it's not something that once I've done it, yes, I celebrate it but then I always want to find a way how I can continue that journey of fulfillment and that journey of helping others because my achievements are great, but if I build a legacy that goes beyond me, then that helps me tackle those days that don't go my way because believe me, with how optimistic I am, it may seem that challenges don't get to me, but they do. But what I have found is wanting to help others and wanting to elevate others, those challenges seem minimal. And that is what makes life 
this amazing journey of discovery and of elevation. I heard a great acronym the other day. It's called, you got to remember to hope, help one person every day, H O P E. And I love that. So making sure at the end of the day, it's like, all right, did I hope today? Yep. Boom. That person, that, this, that, that the little thing, it, it makes a big difference. And you're right. It does affect the attitude and the positivity you put out draws positivity. in. that's something this jaded, sarcastic person is slowly learning. All right. Last question. What is the first thing you're going to do when the COVID insanity is over? Oh boy. I think I'm going to go see my family back home in Puerto Rico. It's been about two years since December, 2020, since I've seen uh, my dad, my brother, and the rest of my family, just being very in tune with those people. And also, I think this is just a constant for me is like just spending time with my mother. She is my my hero in that she has taught me that life is this journey of possibilities and just because i have a physical disability doesn't mean i can't do something it just means i have to do it different yes i can't go up a flight of stairs in a wheelchair but i can grab five of my friends and be carried like royalty and i think that's and even and the, the reason why i say that even more so as i'm trying to hold my laughter and you're practically dying over there is it is inter international women's history month so in everything that i do throughout this month and even beyond it like i want to honor the women in my life because they've shown me so much and every day should be women's day and i'm such a champion of that and that's what i'm going to do in the current pandemic and post pandemic is to continue to elevate others in everything that I do. All right, Francisco, so excited to have you on this journey with us. Thank you so much.